A fun fact about me is I have never been to a nail salon, ever. Hello guys, today I'll teach you guys how to get your nails from this atrocity, monstrosity, to this. I'm just gonna wear a cute jacket and cover my shoulders, but it's hot as fuck, so I can't. Here are my credentials, some of the work I have done. You know, I do pretty like simple designs, but sometimes simple is better. Most of the designs I do are pretty recreatable and pretty simple because I'm not that talented. And I do sell my nails, but I only ship to the US and you don't have to buy from me. Like I honestly don't really care. All the money I get from doing nails, I waddle my ass over to the student store and I get Oreos. I'm gonna link everything down below, probably in my Amazon storefront. Um, if I can't find the specific one I use, I'm gonna link a similar one. Just a little disclaimer, I am not a professional. I am self-taught, I don't really know what I'm doing, I just do whatever works for me. If you get a gel allergy, that is a skill issue on your side, and not my fault, and you cannot sue me, okay? So just do your research, don't get the gel on your skin, if you do, please wipe it off, okay? If you're like a toddler and you can't paint within the lines and you get your gel everywhere, maybe this video is not for you, okay? Because gel is... Dangerous. And it has a lot of chemicals. Okay, let's get on with the video. Here's a little setup and I'll run through the supplies. But I have my lamp here so I just move it according to where I need the light to be. To be honest, I don't know if this is all the supplies, but I have alcohol. This is like a... Oops alcohol pump so it just pumps these are lint free like cotton wipes rhinestones pearls base polish gems this is like my metallic thing flash cure pen paintbrush rhinestone glue this is optional sometimes i draw it but sometimes i just use this because it's easier this is for the press on nails to stay on then i just have top coat and this is my other favorite base coat I switch off sometimes. My lamp here, she's like busted, bro. There's cotton pads that are stuck on the lamp. Don't know what that is. You know, she's been through it, but she gets the job done. Okay, I'm only doing one hand because I'm just showing you guys, but this is it's like my restock pile. Do I see how my cuticle is literally like bleeding? I'm so sorry. But I just get so bored in class. I don't know how to help it. I'll demonstrate on my index finger since she's not bleeding, but just take a nail and make sure it like fits wall to wall meat to meat wall to wall most of the sizes are low key the same so it honestly doesn't matter sometimes i like to go smaller because it just makes my finger look longer Let's measure your nails guys it's pretty self-explanatory i can't find my big nail file but usually i just go around the edges and i just file it until it fits and i just make the tip a little bit sharper because i like it a little cuntier this looks so pathetic, but I literally spent like 10 minutes trying to find my nail files, so this is what we're working with. Then I go in with two coats of the Beatles C392, and this is my favorite base coat. It's like the perfect nudie pink. I'm lucky almost all too, so I need to restock. Paint a thin coat on this, and then take your flash cure and cure it for like five seconds. This just prevents it from pulling on the edges and just prevents the gel from moving. Since I'm low key out of this, I'm gonna use, oh shit. I'm gonna use this Veg Sister Nude O2. Oh yeah, I have a lot more of this. I'm gonna use this. Just paint a little coat, put it down, flash cure it for like five seconds. You can wear gloves, but like I just find gloves contaminate everything. Like if you have something on your glove, you'll be touching everything and you can't like feel it on your glove, right? So you'll just be touching everything and everything will be contaminated. So I personally don't wear gloves. Also, I'm not like touching the nail, so it's fine. But if you have an issue, then wear gloves, I guess. I wash my hands before I wipe down everything with alcohol. Okay, after you have flash cured every layer, oh my god. After you have flash cured every layer, put it in your 
nail lamp and I like to face it away from me because this is straight up UV and I do like 60 seconds sometimes I add like 10 seconds but just do at least 60 or whatever your nail polish advises okay don't touch it because you don't want your nasty ass fingerprints on it just go in with the second coat and you want to make sure it is fully cured because you are working with chemicals. There's just like a little close-up of what I do. Just like wipe off one side on the bottle. And then blob it on the middle side. And the other side. Since it's a press-on, you can go through the back like that. And perfect. And don't forget to like wrap the edges a little bit the design I'm doing yes this is my own picture from Pinterest what about it can't really see it but I'm just gonna recreate this there's a French tip on the first and the third so I'll teach you guys how to do that I just take this super fine brush I'm using the Beatles B 931 this is just like a opaque white okay let's see if I can do this on camera Okay, I couldn't really do it on camera, but personally like a thicker French tip. I'm just gonna flash cure this for maybe 10 seconds. I don't want the design to move. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Just take a little on the brush, go like that. Just draw a T. Oh my lord. No, I can't do it. Okay, just like draw a T and then drag it down both ways. You guys are smart, you get it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put both of these in for... 30 seconds. Clean my brush, I just use a cotton pad and some alcohol. I just put this glitter on. It's the Veg Sister W31 on the second and fourth. Just gonna cure that. For the little ridge design, I use this rhinestone glue and I just squirt some on this little freaking TJ Maxx nail thing I have. It is busted, okay? You can use like a little piece of plastic or whatever. I'm gonna take the same brush I did the French tip with and just dip it in there. Something like that. And make sure to flash cure between each stroke so it doesn't melt down. Just wiped off my brush and now I'm gonna do the chrome bows. It's gonna use this metallic liquid. I used to use chrome powder but that is literally such a mess and it's not as clean. So, wow. It's like reflective. Okay, now we're gonna draw the bows. I'm scared to do this on camera. You get the point, right? Okay, it looks bad, so I'm gonna redo it. I'm just gonna take this and wipe it off. Since it's fully cured, I can just wipe off the design and restart. I finished and I put like a little star there. They're low-key fugly, but I'm just demonstrating, okay? They're usually cuter. Cure 60 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you guys how to add charms, which should be very self-explanatory if you have a brain. Just dip your brush in some glue, put it in the area you want your charm to be on. I broke my rhinestone picker thing, so I need to buy a new one. I'm just using tweezers. Oh my lord, bro. But if you have a rhinestone picker, use that. Look how cute. This lighting is so bad, I'm so sorry. Cure your gems for like 60 seconds. I take this Beatles top coat and just essentially just top coat it. Pretty self explanatory. Low key running out. And always make sure to flash cure. Just cure it for like 90 seconds and then you're done. To be honest, not that hard, right? You can do it by yourself. Now I'm going to teach you guys how I put on my press ons so they stay a month. Look at them, so cute. 
Okay, take a nail file, any nail file will do. I'm just using this small one because I can't find my big one, but she works. Buff the hell out of your nails. Make sure there's no shine. You see how there's shine on this one? Make sure there's no shine. This will help the glue stick super, super well. And if you try to pry it off, you will damage your nail. That just means I did a good application, right? Look at that, no shine. Okay, then take like a wooden dowel or a cuticle pusher. Push back your cuticles. This literally hurts because my thumb is bleeding. Yeah, get into it. If you're using a wooden dowel, just use this end and push it back like that. Oh my god, my thumb is literally bleeding. Honestly, I like the dowel better because you can really just get in there. I'm sorry, this is like kind of gross. Here's the beforezies. After you basically nip the life out of your cuticles, just like brush off all the dust. Then we're gonna take an alcohol prep pad and oh this stings because my thumb hurts but clean off all the dirt and I think what really helps makes it stay is the fact that we buff so there's no shine and also no oil absolutely no oils look how clean my cuticles are tell me I did not do a good job I'm scared for the thumb. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh. This is the nail glue I provide to all my customers. I find it on Amazon. It's the Makara one. I feel like any would work. This one is used because I used it. Usually I just like clean here. The little drop here. And then just kind of rub it around. Kind of guesstimate the length of your nail. Push it back against your cuticle and press down. And then press on the nail. Literally just press it until like you feel like you're gonna die. Hold it for 15 seconds and there she is. Guys, I literally dropped this finger and I don't know where it is. Like I was on my hands and knees trying to find it. Found it! Look at this hand versus this hand. I do have like two papers to write, so we'll see how that goes. Aren't they so cute? <sighs> but that concludes my- what the fuck? That concludes my video. That is how you make press on nails by yourself. You know, if you're willing to put in all the work and effort and invest in all the supplies. But it is, in the long run, cheaper to do it by yourself. I've been doing my nails by myself since like first grade, maybe third grade, I don't know. But I used to paint them green and I would only have one bottle of green nail polish. So I would be walking around all 10 fingers, bright green nails. Bright green sparkly nails. Oh, how we have changed. But these are my nails. Hope you guys like this video. Did I say that already? Like and subscribe and comment if you want. I will be going home super soon, so we will be getting green content. Bye, love you so much.